Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Daria. Well, and I know that uh, Wall Street had a horrible fall off, but let's not bury the lead. How can Cheez-Its possibly get any cheesier? <laughs> is there any cheese on Cheez-Its is my question. <laughs> it's powdered <clears throat> something. I don't think it's real cheese. <laughs> But what you're referring to is Taco Bell has come out with a new product, a Cheez-It Tostado and a Cheez-It Wrap. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I bring this up in large part because it's, Wall Street is all about product and Yum! Brands is publicly traded. And it's all about getting young kids to spend their money. And the Cheez-It, it's going to be 16 times the original size, so it's going to be like Cheez-It meets Godzilla. It's going to be huge. Um, but again, Wait, Wall so Street's all about these kind of funky little ways to push product. Wait, is the, so it's a it's a tostada and the and the and the thing is a the chip is a giant cheese it. You got it. Wow, that's horrible. Okay. It's horrible. <laughs> but James is going to eat it. I, James will everyone is loving it right now. Isn't that Taco Bell? I'm loving it. Who's lo I don't know the slogan, but anyway, John is going to go run out and buy it. Um, but Wall Street did suffer. So so shall we discuss that briefly? Please. Yeah, John did great at the Pride Parade, by the way. I watched that and that was fantastic. Off topic, but back to what I do, yes. SP 500 is going to have its worst first half of the year since 1962. So we go back 50 plus years. Today, it's restoration hardware saying things just stink. Yesterday, it was Bed Bath & Beyond saying sales just stink. Last week, it was Target saying sales stink. So we're seeing that consumer spending is cutting back and it's hurting retail. And our economy is retail driven and it's consumer driven. So the evidence is there that we're slowing down aggressively in our spend and that the word recession is probably gonna to come to fruition. If it's not a recession, it's gonna feel like a recession because the retailers are already showing it to us right now. Daria. And it's gonna feel like it too, because even if you can afford the product that you're buying that just went up in price, to sh the shipping costs more. So it's taking longer and costing more. I brought this up because you and I, we see the Bay Bridge every day and we see the big container ships underneath going to the Oakland port. Those containers, each one of them cost about $45,000 to charter right now from China to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, two and a half years ago, it was $8,000. What? So if those, if those containers have fireworks in them, $45,000. If those containers have furniture in them, $45,000. Yeah. Um, two and a half years ago, $9,000, $8,000. That's crazy. Amazing. Shipping costs are through the roof. Wow. And you spoke of fireworks, so let's bring up July 4th costs, which have you know, increased as well. Hard to believe, but I'm going to have friends over. Um, and I actually have friends. That's friend, another hard one friend to believe. Over. Your friend, uh, the one. 55% <laughs> of Americans do celebrate, and we do travel, about 60% of us. 8% um, more than last year. It's Fourth of July is all about barbecues. It's all about road trips. It's all about fireworks. And all of those things are costing us more money this year. Food costs are up about 11% year over year. Mm. Fireworks are up about 35% in cost year over year. And we did more home fireworks in the last couple of years because we didn't want to go out and, and spend time with COVID infected people. So we kind of dispersed and did our own fireworks. Right. Uh, propane, if you want to fire up the gas grill to a blue light, uh, pump up the gas grill, pump it up. It's 26% more for a propane. There is nothing going on right at this point in time. Buy your food in bulk. Fruits and vegetables are in season, so they're the cheapest right now. Right. Pork is the new chicken. Chicken's the new red meat. You get the idea. <laughs> Everyone's downsizing costs this year. Well, James told me that I couldn't come over because he ran out of propane. Um, I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, no, but which, which day is your little event, Rob? I'll bring cheeses. Yeah. We have to have a fundraiser for James. <laughs> <laughs> so he can chip in and get a propane. Um, speaking of chips, crypto is like worth a chip now. It's worth a cheese it. It's worth a... What's going on with crypto? Okay. So I read a whole book yesterday on crypto by Rick Adelman. And I want crypto to fall to ten to 12,000 because then it'll kind of complete a cycle that it's done before. Um, Bitcoin is at 19,000. It's broke below 20,000. So there's, there's a chance technicians see it can go anywhere to 8,000, 12, 13,000. That's when it had its big run up during COVID. In 2020, COVID went from 12,000 to 62, 64,000. And it's given it all back up. I would like to see it give it all back up because there's some really cool technology in, in Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies and uh, blockchain. And, you know, some of the coins like Ether and Solana 
they're okay. Dogecoin, not so much, but in 2014, crypto went from $1,000 a coin down to 200. In 2017, it went from 19,000 down to 4,000. So these 80% pullbacks are pretty common. Goldman Sachs institutions are buying now, they're playing with it. Um, hedge funds are playing with it. Uh, researchers are, are starting to understand it more. So it's different than it was three years ago. And I do believe it's gonna last, but I think we need a central bank like the Federal Reserve to say, we're gonna create a stable coin. Once they do that, I'm in. Well, I'm not. So. I told you I'm not investing in so I just don't get it. And I'm not a little, five out of four people struggle with math. Did you know that? God, that's cute. You like that? No, Three out of four I, people make up 75% of all people. <laughs> I mean, I get the math jokes could go on forever, but seriously, I don't get crypto and I'm not gonna. Thank you, Rob. I'll work, I'll work with you on it. I, okay. I'm not there yet either. Okay, but yeah. But if it falls more, we'd be foolish not to think about it. Okay, maybe, maybe. My people will get in touch with your people. And if you want to get in touch with Rob, you can email him or reach book, uh, him on Facebook or Twitter.